opportunities for hunting on farmlands are dependent on cordial relations with the landowner. These friendly relations are developed only when hunters show farmers every consideration. A sportsman never fails to ask permission before hunting. Good dogs are a practical aid, and a well-trained one heads for likely cover. Katie, a pointer, takes off fast and ranges widely. Bo, the setter, works more slowly, closer to the hunters. Some sportsmen favor the pointer, others prefer setters. Both have their points. Together, they make a fine team. The dogs locate quail by scent. Katie works over this patch of cover thoroughly. Fence rows afford good protection for quail. After the early morning feeding, quail retire to good cover to loaf and dust. Alarmed, they head for still denser cover. Katie has caught the scent of the running birds. Following it to where the birds have stopped, she comes to a point. Bo stops, frozen in mid-stride, to honor Katie's find. Now the birds are pinned down. The rest is up to the hunter. This one's wing-tipped. It's the dog's job to find and retrieve. Here's where the use of a good dog is conservation. Birds that might be lost to human eyes are located by the dog's keen nose. Now it's Bo's turn. A perfect retrieve is a joy to watch. And the first bird of the hunt is always a bird to admire. After the covey is scattered, the hunters go after a few singles. single is found. Some of the birds have headed into the sumac by the new pond. This brushy fence row with standing and cut down trees will give protection against predators and winter weather. Katie locates the second single at the base of the new pond dam. Time the hunter reloads, the pointer has another find. Could Katie be wrong? The hunters think so, but Katie doesn't. dog is right. The wise sportsman takes only a few birds from each covey, leaving plenty to ensure breeding stock. This tall growth right next to the timber is Ceresia lespediza. Growing well on poor soil, which it enriches, Ceresia furnishes good ground cover and emergency food for quail. This shorter, darker growth is Korean lespediza, a good farm forage crop 
and a commonly used quail food. That's a small covey. Let's skip to singles. A mixture of cover and food, well distributed in waste areas between croplands, provides ideal quail habitat. In good cover, a tenth acre food patch with a variety of cultivated grains, legumes, and wild annuals furnishes food throughout the winter for a covey or two. locates the covey that uses this food patch, and Katie comes in on a nice bit of teamwork. <laughs> Clean misses are a part of the game. Katie picks up a down bird, and Bo comes straight across the food patch to deliver another. Hunting's been fine, but a rest period is welcome. These interested hunters examine their birds closely. The proportion of young to adults indicates the success of the summer's hatch. It's easy to tell young from old birds. The light-colored tips of the primary wing coverts mark a young bird hatched this year. On the adults, tips of the primary wing coverts are almost uniformly dark. In the fall quail crop, adults are far outnumbered by the young. The season's kill normally runs four young to one adult. Time to move on. A farm as well developed for quail as this one has more coveys to find. All idle areas are in cover, showing that this farmer realizes the value of protecting land that would otherwise erode. In such habitat, quail thrive, providing plenty of birds for a safe harvest while still leaving an adequate breeding stock. As the day goes on, events seem to run together in a series of points and covey rises misses, and clean kills. Memory retains only the highlights that constitute the lure that draws men with gun and dogs into the quail ranges, year after year, to hunt and shoot, or just to watch the dogs. As shadows lengthen, the dogs are still going strong. Bo winds up the day and the season in a last magnificent point. As the season draws to a close, heavy gray clouds foreshadow the closing down of winter with its new problems of weather and other hardships. <laughs>